Okay, we're checking back in with Boris the Unicorn and looking at the next event. We've covered the exposition, and so let's move on to the exciting event. Archie invites Boris to come to the circus tryouts without him. So the exciting event is something that causes the rest of this story to happen. Without Archie inviting him, Boris would might never have gone, and his life would have been just buying video games and playing them. And so here we have a part that changes the, cha the track of the story uh, and makes the whole story happen. So let's check in with our story of Boris here. Boris is looking through the new video game release at his favorite store, Gamer Heaven. He sees his friend Archie the Chinchilla at the counter. Hey Archie, have you played the new Super Mario Kart yet? Boris asks. No time for video games, my friend. Been practicing my one-man band act for the trials this Saturday. I just came here to sell my old games for a bus ticket, Archie says, jumping up and down with excitement. What do you mean? What tryouts? A bus ticket for what? Boris looks worried. I'm trying out for the circus, my man, Archie says, as if it were the most normal thing to do in the world. I need the bus ticket to get out of Springfield where they're held. Oh, and I get this. I have some extra cash from selling my old PS2 console so I can buy you a ticket. It would be super cool if you came with me. I would. But aren't unicorns banned from the circus? Boris says. He looks down at the ground. I've heard that, Archie says. He does not look worried about it one bit. If you're good enough, they have to let you join. I'll be at your house tomorrow at 8 a.m. sharp, so be ready. So we can see here that Boris didn't even know about this contest or this tryout. And so Archie inviting him is the first part to making that wish come true. And he's already kind of overcoming some conflict because he thinks they're banned from the circus. Um, and Archie is already offering, hey, well, if you're good enough, that can be changed. That's not really a problem. And so this exciting event kind of overcomes the initial conflict and pushes the story into happening. Um, you notice if he didn't have that extra cash to buy that extra ticket and he just went off to the uh, contest, then Boris would have been left at home. So the, uh, the act of Archie inviting him makes this whole story happen. So on your part, um, you're gonna say in three sentences, describe the event that causes your main character to begin his or her adventure. Does your supporting character help your main character get going? Or does something else happen to your main character to get him or her out of a rut and into action? So what's going to change the course of your character's life? And what's going to cause them to make the choice of overcoming this conflict and beating these odds that they're up against in your story? Again, that's on your plot roller coaster in that second box. So this right here should be your exciting incident if you've completed roller coaster correctly. So as you can see, we're taking each box one at a time, and we're expanding on it, okay, for your construct theory. If we scroll down a little bit more, the next part is our rising action. This is the events that are going to be the longest part of your story. And we're going to write about your characters and everything that's going to happen to them along the way. So maybe you have a lot of rising action, maybe you just have a couple. Remember, this is the, the part where I said, you don't have to use all three boxes, you might have five, you might have two. Well, let's go back up. Uh, okay, and so on your book, I'll have numbers here, one, two, and three. Again, however many events you need, if you need to attach an extra paper here, feel free to do that, okay? Um, oh, that's the climax part. There is one, two, and three. Oh, they're there. Okay, so on your packet, there are these numbers. Don't feel like you have to use all of them, um, but use enough to explain what is going on in your story, okay? So that would be these three boxes here, or these two boxes, whatever you chose to use. These boxes here are part of your rising action. So for Boris's rising action, we see that he tries out, and Ivan sends him to Archie to flip burgers. I guess he wasn't very successful there. Boris dances and Archie plays music at the burger stand. So even though they didn't make the circus, they continue to pursue their dream of this act. Boris and Archie get asked to perform one night only in the main tent. So someone sees them and they get a little closer to the circus. Okay, so that's the rising action. They still are pursuing and solving this problem. It doesn't get solved right away on this first one where they try out. So now we're here at the climax. I then pours oil all over the main stage under Boris's feet. <gasps> Man, Ivan must have really something against them. This is when they get the B on the main stage of the circus, so we think they're getting what they want. And we're like, oh, yes, cheering for Boris. It's very exciting for him. 
but something still gets in the way and we're not sure they're going to make it. So let's check in on the climax of the story. Remember, this is our really exciting moment. Um, maybe the villain appears out of the blue. Uh, something's won. The audience gasps are very worried. Uh, so the top of the roller coaster, the most scary, the most exciting, the best part, but it doesn't last long. It can be very short as one paragraph, just enough to make your readers hold their breath and say, oh, what's going to happen next? So here's what happens to Boris at his climax. It's finally the big night and the main circus tent is packed with people. The air is filled with smelled popcorn and hot dogs and the sound of laughter. Great imagery from our author. So now the scene is set and let's see what happens. Boris and Archie make their grand entrance on stage and the crowd goes wild. As soon as they begin their act, Ivan approaches close behind them with a bucket of oil and dumps it all over the floor beneath Boris's hooves. Archie spots Ivan. Boris, watch out, he yells. And if we stop there, we're not really sure what's going to happen in the story. And we're very worried about them being so close to what they wanted and not getting it. So in your packet, you're going to be asked to write three sentences describing what might happen in your book's climax. Doesn't have to be long, but it should be exciting. It should be something we worry about for them. After the climax is the falling action. This is where the problem gets uh, solved. The story speeds up. It's fast paced, super action packed. Um, you're finally speeding them up down the tracks of the roller coasters. And does the villain get defeated? Do the main character's dreams finally come true? Do people that misunderstood each other finally make amends? Uh, they do. So let's check on Boris's falling action. Ivan is tackled by Archie. The circus performers tie Ivan to a chair and clean up the oil spill. Oh, good. They get to perform after all. And so th that solves the problem that was created. And they're able to perform in front of the excited crowd, which is the resolution that he does get to be in the circus. So your falling action, again, might be these two boxes. Uh, shows how the problem gets solved. How do we get from that most exciting part? You might have just one event, uh, a quick ending, and then how does the story end? So on your papers here, there it is, um, you have some spaces for the falling action. And again, it's write three sentences about how your de characters defeat the villain or overcome the challenge. Uh, make sure it's exciting and packed with action. You already answered a question about how your main character might defeat your villain on your create your story worksheet. So this may help you pull this worksheet out and read it before writing your following action. And then we come to the ending, getting off the roller coaster. This is how things work out in the very end. This is when your main character really knows at, that his or her dream has come true. The roller coaster ride is over and they get to think about how much fun the ride has been. This could be a kind of reflecting on how happy they are part. It could be um, where the characters end up. So you're going to write three sentences about what will happen after your main character's dreams come true. Let's visit in on Boris. And they are, we, we meet them actually acting in the circus. Archie starts playing a harmonica, guitar, foot, drum, and a slide whistle all at the same time. Very talented. And Boris starts to dance. The crowd goes wild. Boris sees his mom in the audience with a whole plate of hot mini pizzas. For a moment, he thinks about jumping off the stage and running over to her, but he thinks again and keeps dancing. His dream has finally come true. The mini pizzas could wait. So they pulled a call back from the beginning. Those mini pizzas must be really tempting. Uh, but he's kind of reflecting on the experience of getting what he wants and, and dancing. So that's how your ending um, should be, is your character's reflecting on the problem being solved, explaining how life is going to be in the end of their journey. Okay? So, cut that off. Okay.